Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I have the uh, Sturm Infantry Geschütz 33B. So this is a German heavy assault gun. So I've got them in two different paint schemes. Um, so this one is the winter camo. Uh, looks okay. And then this one's the standard camouflage and standard German. Um, I can't remember the exact name for it. The uh, standard German yellow essentially. Um, so yeah, so the Sherman for Chica Schutz was a self-propelled uh, heavy assault gun, um, and it was used, uh, I can't remember where actually, I think it was Russia, maybe Europe, I'm not entirely sure, I believe it was uh, only on the eastern front, but something quite interesting is the fact that it has a fully enclosed um, uh, chassis, so it meant that they were much less uh, vulnerable to grenades throwing them through the top. So, um... Uh, they also had an MG34 on the side, just to the right of the gun, and um, they. I think these these are built off um, the Panzer III. I think, yeah, they look like Panzer III chassis, and yeah, so um, they were built off a of Panzer III. So um, they were, yeah, so they were used actually. In fact, they were used um, for fighting in Stalingrad. Um, uh, against the Russians, and were assigned, some of them were assigned to the 22nd Panzer Division, and others were to the 23rd Panzer Division. So it weighed around 21 tons, uh, it was about 5.4 meters long, and um, 2.9 meters wide, and had a crew of five, which is fairly standard for a tank of the Second World War. So um, it was designed in, uh, in 1941 to 1942. And I had um, around 10 to 80 millimeters of armor, which is okay. It's not amazing, but it's 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 good. Um, so yeah, so his main armament is a 15 centimeter gun, which is quite hefty, but it's not a. I, th I, th I believe it's a. Um, I believe it's a howitzer. I'm not sure. no, I don't think it's howitzer, but it's a, it's a large caliber gun. And I believe it was meant for taking out uh, bunkers and um, yeah, bunkers and um, things like that. so buildings and all that. Not really uh, for use against tanks. So yeah, these are armor fast kits. So um, armor fast um, make loads and loads diff of different um, tanks. Um, and these are all f uh, quick build kits. So unlike a, a standard. Uh, airfix kit or something like that. They have a lot. This uh, they have a lot of pieces. These have a very tiny amount of pieces. You know, it's just like the two wheels, two tracks, the um, uh, the chassis, and that's about it really. In the gun, that's really about it. But they are really good if you want to build a, a huge tank battalion or, in this case, some assault guns really quickly. So um. Yeah, in that, in that sense, they're already good for just being, they're basically building your army up uh, really quickly. So, yeah. This one hasn't, neither of these have been weathered, actually. And uh, I don't think this winter camo is very good, to be honest. It looks okay, it's not the best. But, um, but they're definitely, they're quite unusual. Similar to the M7, you don't see them very often. I believe I'm fast the only people that really make them. Someone else might do, but I'm not entirely sure who else makes them, but they are really quite interesting. So yeah. So um I believe actually there's only one surviving um Sturm Infantry Geschütz and it's in Russia, I believe. Which is quite funny. Um so yeah, it's um the only yeah, the only one um rema uh, remaining is in Russian. It is in Russian, it is in Russia. So yeah. And it had a uh, top speed of 12 miles per hour, which is slower than the Churchill. So, um, that's uh, not brilliant. But if you think about it, it um, was only really made for being brought into a takeout position. And then, you know, probably wouldn't be used for a while afterwards. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video.